the number 350 encapsulates a lot of things. It's a platform, it's, it's a movement, it's a campaign. I first became aware of environmental issues when I was pretty young, I guess probably in, in high school in particular, and then I went on to study environmental studies and geography in college and found some really great friends who had some of the same concerns and ended up deciding together to, to co-found a campus organization. Um, that we called the Sunday Night Group because um, we got together on Sunday nights. 350 is uh, the safer level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that we need to ensure a safe climate. And it's, it's measuring part, parts per million of carbon dioxide. Currently we're at 390 parts per million and in order for us to ensure a safe climate we need to take the necessary measurements and then make the political decisions to go back to this number, but that's why we're called 350. One of the first campaigns that we ran was to try to lower the thermostats in all the buildings around campus um, just by a couple of degrees. It ended up being pretty much a no-brainer for the school. They saved a lot of money um, and saved a lot of emissions. And it was in college that we first teamed up with Bill McKibben, um, who was connected to our college, um, sometimes as a professor on campus. And so, you know, from campus organizing to state organizing um, and teaming up with Bill, we launched the first national project, which was called Step It Up in 2007. And so without a whole lot of experience, you know, we put out this call to action and it spread to 2,000 communities around the country, um, ended up getting front page coverage in the New York Times and a lot of different outlets around the country. Um, and it was an exciting moment to realize um, sort of the power of the internet and the power of a small group um, to be able to coordinate what was a movement of people out there that really wanted to take action. To me, uh, 350 means survival. To me, 350 means that people in the Andes in Peru will have the security they need and the water they need to, to survive. It also means that, um, you know, survival not, for, not only for me, but, you know, for the future generations. And so really when we started out, we, we put up a website at 350.org. We all took these crazy, you know, huge swaths of the world and just started Googling, essentially. And it was at the end of 2008 that we launched this idea for a global day of action um, to all participate and show our concern um, and protest or celebrate or whatever made sense in people's different cultures all on the same day, right in advance of the Copenhagen Conference. October 24th, 2009 came around and the participation was incredible. People participated in over 185 countries all around the world. Um, there were some 5,000 events, many of which were you know, huge numbers of people getting on in the streets, many of which were also, you know, schools getting together and doing a day of education, was on the front page of the New York Times, was at the top of Google News for a large part of that day. We just couldn't believe it. We were just blown out of the water of, uh, you know, how, how people had responded. Um, and looking back on it, you know, when, when we set out with three, starting 350.org, our main goal was to make this number 350 sort of the benchmark for what serious action on climate change meant. And in that sense, I think, I think we succeeded. Um, I think this movement succeeded. 350 is now considered what policies are generally measured up against in some way. Whether those policies are meeting that yet, that's what we need to you know, make sure that we're putting pressure on. You know, what I would share with all the people that are still wondering, you know, what is this climate change, what to do, join 350. <laughs> Everybody wanna be a gangster Waving a flag for the set they claim Democrat or Republican, crip or blood You can switch it up, really it's all the same Just corrupted agendas, a public offenders They ain't come to defend us, government is against us Working for corporate interests, we been hoodwinked They walking all over you with carbon footprints But look man, we gotta find common ground A common theme on which we gotta agree We need the sea, we need the trees We need the air, we got to breathe Fossil fuels got us living like dinosaurs Eating up the resources like a kind of four. What we need is a new energy solution before Mother Nature is the enemy, we shoot. Turn it around, 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 turn it